Hi guys and welcome to the next episode in this van build series. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to start the wall cladding. I'm going to start off with this area here. So as you can see, we've got some curtains now. Sky's Nan made these for us out of some spare material she had. So sticking with the upcycling of materials theme, these are made out of some spare material from some blackout curtains she was taking up. So I'm really pleased with those. And they just slot onto this track here. I've got some of these little eyes and then these curtain hooks go through the eyes. She's even made us some tie backs, as you can see here. So I think that looks really smart. So thank you for that, Sue, if you're watching. I've made this framework around the window. We've got this window sill, and then this will just give us something to fix the clad into. This curtain here is from Shore Vans in Cornwall. It's a cab divider curtain, so that just comes across here, and then we can button it together down the middle to block out any light. And it's also got some buttons on the ends here. So you can fix that to the B pillar. So that's quite nice. It's for a Mercedes Sprinter, if you were wondering. And then I've just adjusted the height here using this piece of skirting board. So here I have some knotting solution. Just bear in mind you get it in different colors as well. Um, if you get it for a darker wood, then it's gonna be harder to cover. To help stabilize the wood, we use a knotting solution. Pine is known as a resinous wood. It's got resin in it and that can seep through the knots. Um, and sometimes you can see that through the top coat over time. So by using a knotting solution, you're sealing the resin in the wood and you shouldn't be able to see the knots through the top coat. So my second top tip for when you're installing wall cladding, if you're gonna be painting it, make sure you paint it first, even if it's just with one coat of paint. Um, you wanna make sure you paint the tongue and the groove so that when you put it together, when the wood shrinks and expands, you can't see any of the pine showing through the gaps. Got a lovely new blade on. Now I've got some curtains. I can draw these and you might be able to see a bit better. How's that? With a van, there's no... Uh, using levels you have to do it by reference points so for this piece of clad in here my reference point is going to be this ledge across the top and that is what I've been using around the van for doing this as well uh, this ledge is the reference point I've used to keep everything level So this is a piece that's gonna go around the top of the window um, and it will cover up that gap at the top of the curtains that lets light through at the moment. So let's uh, take this in with a jigsaw and then router it off. So I'm gonna use a blade to score the wood so that when I jigsaw this, it doesn't break out the wood. said that in the previous video but just in case you missed it and then when I jigsaw this line it'll be a nice clean cut so I've got another back box to go in here so let's Drill out the corners. Oh, so I've put in the wall controller for the Chinese diesel heater here, and the cable was run through here down to the bottom.
I've run out of pre-painted cladding, so I need to go paint some more up and I'll carry on tomorrow. <music> This scrap piece of wood here to get the profiles for the next plank so that profile there will go around that corner piece and the angle on the other end is for here so when I go and cut my next board I can follow that angle on one end of the board and that profile up the other end and hopefully it should fit in there nicely. For scribing in the panel, I'm just using my pencil, and marking my lines across here to get the angle, and then I go cut that on the miter saw. And that's all the walls cladded. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. I love how this worked out with the overlapping board here that covers up the LED strip light. I think that looks quite neat. We've got our socket in the wall here, which is gonna be for a TV about here. And then some overhead cupboards will be going here. And then on this side, it's completely symmetrical with that one. All the boards line up across the van and we've also got our LED strip up there as well. I haven't put that top board in yet as I'm still deciding where I'm going to put the cupboards on this wall. I'm thinking above the kitchen area here um, as I need to build in a control panel as well for all of the circuits throughout the van which is that bunch of cables there. I've staggered the joints so you can see we've got three joins up this end and three joins up this end. I think it looks neater that way. On the ceiling, I didn't stagger the joints. And as you can see, we've got all the joints in one place. Um, and not only is it stronger doing it that way, staggering the joints, I think it also looks neater. I still need to fill up all these screw holes, sand them off and give it another coat of paint throughout the van. Uh, some of the boards have only had one coat of paint, so they need a bit more. Looks a bit washy at the moment. It tied in quite nicely with a splash back. That board just comes over the top here. This carpet worked out well above the door as well and it keeps all the boards in line. We've got another socket up here, which will be for inside the cupboard for charging laptops and toothbrushes, things like that. Got another 12 volt socket down here, the USB charging socket, which is right next to the bench seat so you can sit there and charge your phone conveniently. Chinese diesel heater controller. It's got the thermostat built in here, so that needs to be inside the space. So it picks up the temperature inside the van. It's no good putting this inside a cupboard as it'll be picking up the temperature inside the cupboard. So yeah, next job is to fill all these little holes up, sand it off and give it another coat of paint. But I'm not gonna put that in this week's video as it's gonna take me ages. I wanna take these curtains down so they don't get dusty when I come to sand it. Um, so yeah, I'll just give you an update once it's done and then we'll do something a little bit more interesting hopefully next time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and you found value in this content. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't mind, just let me know why in the comments. And if you'd consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate it. And if you click the little alarm bell, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye for now.